Well, moving to Argentina, today marks 31 years since democracy was restored after a brutal dictatorship between 1976 and 83. Since then, there has been immense improvements in human rights, so much so that Argentina is internationally acclaimed in the matter. Leo Poblete Caduti with more from Buenos Aires. In 31 years of uninterrupted democracy in Argentina, advances in human rights have been absolutely significant, especially since Néstor Kirchner took office in 2003. They opened the doors to investigation and research. They repealed pardon laws, declaring them unconstitutional. Since then, complete justice has been a possibility. This Wednesday's announcement of the recovery of the 116th grandchild born in captivity to parents who disappeared during the dictatorship demonstrates that the struggle for remembrance, truth and justice in this country is as present as ever. It is an immense joy. It helps to understand that everything we do each day has a meaning, that the impossible can be broken and that change can be achieved. It helps to understand that the dream that the grandmothers had when they began their struggle during the dictatorship is today a reality with 116 resolved cases. The struggle for more and better human rights is permanently on the agenda in Argentina. Today we have a policy of inclusion in terms of human rights that is transversal in Argentina and allows us to not only talk about the human rights issues of those dramatic years, but also to build a bridge towards an amplification of rights. Therefore, we are absolutely convinced that although much has yet to be done and what we have achieved over the past few years must also be acknowledged. Apart from convicting and imprisoning over 530 murderers and tortures during the civil military dictatorship, Argentina today considers same-sex marriage, gender equality and mass media communications, just to name a few, as basic human rights. From Buenos Aires, Lionel Politico Duti, Telesur.